I always thought that this 3D printer was a copy of the Ender 3 Pro. But after a closer look, I was wrong. How this 3D printer looks similar, but it is way different. The longer L key for Pro. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, my name is Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. And if you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest news and updates right in your mailbox. And thanks for being here. So yeah, a little side note, this printer isn't brand, brand, brand new. So you can already buy it right online. I think it's worth mentioning it right here on Zachary's 3D Prints news and updates. I saw this 3D printer from longer a few times already. A printer where I thought it was a knockoff from Creality's Ender 3 Pro. And yes, in some ways it does look similar, but let us take a closer look on this 3D printer. Let's take a look at the most notable parts. The aluminum profiles, the bed, the Z-axis does look the same like the Ender 3 Pro. The printing volume of this 3D printer is 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. The printing temperatures are going up until 250 degrees Celsius. The printing speeds lower than 180 millimeters per second, but recommended is between the 60 and 80 millimeters per second. Of course, you can go a little bit slower to get even better print results. The printer size, the size of the machine itself, is 425 times 402 times 187 millimeters. Supported materials stated on the website, PLA, ABS and wood. But also the temperatures, I think PETG is also fine to print with. Maybe you can also print some other materials within the time, uh, temperature range of 200 and 250 degrees Celsius. So this printer has a simple design with the 2040 aluminum extrusions with a thicker side which is fully closed, except for the screw holes, of course. The print bed has a carborundum glass bed or a glass plate. The springs underneath the print bed are the yellow springs. They are not painted yellow. Of course, they have a yellow color, but it are the more stiffer springs. Leveling knob knobs does look smaller and looks also easier to access. One other thing I noticed was that the power supply unit is mounted underneath the Y axis, right on the right side of the printer, making room for the controller board that is next to it. Longer has placed a 4.3 inch color LCD touchscreen on the left side instead of the right side. So talking about the controller board, the controller board has TMC2208 stepper drivers for, you guessed it, sign and printing. The printer is fully open source, which means that this printer has a bootloader and you can adapt or make changes in the Marlin firmware. And you have the ability to add a BL touch to this printer. The printer has a filament runout sensor and also a power recovery. And the printer has also a power failure recovery. Prices of this 3D printer are around the 220 US dollars. I will put the affiliate links 
right in the description of this video. So to wrap up this video, a lookalike from an M3 Pro, but after a closer look, this 3D printer from longer isn't what it looks like. This 3D printer is cheap and has a lot of great potentials with a color touch screen, a filament run out sensor and a power recovery with a power supply unit right underneath the printer. You have yellow springs under your print bed. Updating the firmware, no problem. It's open and use with caution. Affiliate links I will put right in the description of this video. On Sakri 3D Prints you find everything you want to know about 3D printing. Every Wednesday and Friday new upload. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and put on the notifications. So if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Thank you. At the end of this video, there's an end card with some recommended videos that are worth watching. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye. Thank you.